All right, so I thought I'd do a real quick brakes video. I'm, I'm moving on to that now. Um, hopefully the sound of the fan isn't too bad in the recording. It's kind of hot where I'm at here in Michigan. So anyways, uh, some quick things about this 47. The hubs come off with the wheel bearings. It's a little different than other old cars I've dealt with before. Um, as you can see right here, is that their bearings came off with the, with the hub. Uh, so it's a little more difficult to get them off as far as that goes. The rear ones, I had to buy a special puller to get them off. Uh, I tried to fabricate one myself. That didn't work out. Uh, I, so I bought one online. Uh, it wasn't terribly expensive. I want to say maybe a hundred bucks. Uh, and some hammering and some cussing and squaring. And I got up the rear ones off too. But uh, the rear ones are pretty tough to come off. The front ones, not so much. So this is the front brakes all put back together again. I found all the springs, retainers, and adjusters online pretty easily. Uh, in fact, there's several places that carried them. I think they might be Ford. Uh, the same thing as old Ford cars, I'm not really sure. That's what I've worked on them before, so this all looked familiar to me. So I'm guessing that's what they are, but you can find them online. What you can't find online are the shoes. Now, the shoes, they, you'll find places online that say they have them, but once you get them, they're not going to be right. At least that's my experience. I, I ordered from three different places. All three of them came. None of them were the, the match with the ones I had. So what I ended up doing is have these reshoed. Uh, the originals had rivets in them. Uh, so they drilled those out and put these, these, uh, these, there's some kind of a gluing process. They put these pads on. So I'm, I'm told they're just as good as having rivets in them. So if you're taking ones off, obviously they're going to look a little different. But uh, the whole setup to get all four tires reshoed was about 160 bucks for me. Uh, all the spring and hardwares that I could find. Uh, has, they got new springs, new plungers for the cylinders. Uh, I think it was 150 bucks for all, so about $300 into the having all three, all four tires with new springs, new retainers, new pads, which I don't think is terrible uh, for this car. So uh, I did rehome the cylinders. I got new plungers and springs for the inside of the cylinders. Uh, you can see some new lines. All these lines, I bought these that $150 price tag came with these all these new rubber lines because mine were kind of rotted out. Uh, the solid lines in this car look pretty good. I bought a new master cylinder I found online. I don't recall what the car price of that was, but. Uh, so I pretty much replaced the entire brake system on this uh, except for the hard lines because they all look good and of course the junction boxes all look good so anyways like I said it's pretty easy it's pretty uh, straightforward they're not they're not difficult brakes to change other than just getting the hubs off uh, like I said it's, it's set up like Fords I've had in the past or any other old car probably I have to be honest with you um, now one little tidbit too when you buy the kits the kits come with two tires worth of stuff I bought four four kits thinking four tires, but each kit has two tires worth of stuff. So that, that was from uh, Brake Parts Incorporated LLC is where I got my stuff from. I think that was the cheapest, and uh, they seem to have good reviews. So anyway, just a quick video on the, on the brakes. Have any questions or comments or uh, suggestions, I'm always open. Thanks.